Hi, welcome to the Way to Eternal Life podcast with John Gill. Prepare your hearts and minds and be inspired as we open the Word of God today with you. Now, here is John Gill. Greetings in the name of the Lord. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's podcast. I am your host, Jai Gill. Let us start out with a word of prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord God, Lord, for this day. Thank you, Lord God, Lord, for just um, not leaving us alone, Lord God, Lord. And thank you, Lord, for just being God and not man, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for how you have, first of all, kept us saved, kept us alive, kept us encouraged, Lord, we thank you for that, Lord God. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for the wonderful reports that we're getting from the news, Lord, concerning that there are folks that are being healed, Lord, from this virus. We pray, Lord, that you would continue to heal bodies, Lord God, Lord, and Lord, we pray, Lord, for souls to be saved, Lord, and Lord, that backsliders be reclaimed, that your name be glorified, Lord. Lord, whatever's accomplished, Lord, we we'll give you the praise and the honor of the Lord. Lord, bless today's podcast. Bless today's message. Bless that the, the, the message and the hearers that hear it will would, would, would receive your engrafted word that their lives would never be the same. In Jesus' name, we pray for the inspiration. We're praying for the anointing. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Well, at this time, thank you so much for tuning in to today's podcast. And this is the way to eternal life coming to you over all the major podcast stations. We appreciate you all tuning into the podcast. Thank you so much for um, just just listening, just taking time out of your day to listen to today's to each and every message. At this time, we do have a um, a a song, and we pray that the song will be a blessing. And afterwards, we will continue with today's message entitled, Don't Mess It Up. And we will be continuing that message right after this uh, wonderful song. We pray that this song will be a blessing to you. And I'll be back shortly. God bless.
We will be right back. Here is a word from our sponsor. Hey, you! If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. First of all, it's free. They have all the creative tools that will allow you to edit right on your phone or computer. Wow, that's awesome. Then we'll distribute to all the major platforms too. Awesome, man. You can make some money with no minimum listenership. So what you waiting for? Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started today. Now back to John Gill. You do something else. You better consider. It's time to repent. What does repent mean? Repent means to be godly is the, is the Bible term for being godly sorrow. Godly sorrow, the Bible says, worketh repentance, not to be repented of. And if I was you, my friend, I would take heed to it. You know you heard the word. We're just pointing you right back to the cross. Are you taking heed to what you're hearing? Be swift to hear and slow to speak. Slow to wrath, the Bible says. What about your prayer life? Do you have a fervent prayer life? What's a fervent mean? Intense prayer life. Talk to the Christian now. You say the word Christian means Christ-like anyways, or, or a disciple of Christ, or a follower of Christ. Are you, uh, well, you, you might say, well, I'm a follower of Christ. I got saved at an early age. Well, that's fine. Well, how are you now? That's good you got saved when you got young, but how are you right now? To all you young people out here, you rather don't use this time right now to, to be on Facebook and Instagram and Snapchat. But God's holding you accountable too because you know right from wrong. You heard these things. You heard wherever, wherever you heard the word of God from, you heard it. And are you taking heed to it? Not thinking about your problem, not thinking about the dates, not thinking about, see, let me tell you something, the devil will make sure you think about anything else but God. Even us grown folks, even us grown adults, we think about everything else but God. Oh, we, when we eat, instead of praying over your food, you, you, you just start, you just, you're ungrateful. Instead of praying over your food, something as simple as praying over your food. You don't want nobody to know. I don't want nobody to know. Aren't you ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ? Are you thinking about everything else that you, you got to do today? You got to go to the grocery store, although we do. We got to get gas for the car. We got to do this. We got to do that. We got to hurry up and get on the bus. We got to get the children on the bus. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, this is going on. That's going on. And it's Monday or it's Tuesday or it's Wednesday. And I got this report. I got to do it. All of this stuff. But are we taking heed to what God is saying to you? And if I was you, my friend, I would just humble my heart. Humility is not a sign of weakness. Being humble is not weakness. Hum humility is just simply is I'm at God's feet. Whatever God wants me to do. I'm, I'm going low. I'm not going to go. I'm not going to just be prideful about this. Don't say, well, yeah, that's a good message. Oh, hallelujah. But are you taking heed to what the message is saying? Are you taking heed? As we draw to a close, 
Lord help me. I'm I'm still preaching, but in verse one again it says, Therefore we ought to give the more earnest heed to the things which we have heard, lest at any time we should let them slip. For if the word spoken by angels was steadfast, and every transgression and disobedience received a just recompense of reward. How shall we, if we neglect so great a salvation, which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord and was confirmed unto us by them that heard him? Are we taking heed to the things which we've heard? It's serious. If you're not saved, humble your heart. And if you are saved and you have not done what God is telling you to do, or not doing what the Lord is telling you to do, don't omit the weightier matters. I ain't talking about like, you know, paying tithes. And uh, you should pay tithes to, to your to your local congregation. I ain't talking about that. What I'm talking about is this, is that are you neglecting what God is telling you? These things, you, the, Jesus says, these things you ought to have done and not leave the other undone. Take heed to the things which you have heard. And if you have backslid, it's time to come to God. You know backsliders. You know this. Is backsliding worth you going to hell for it? If disobeying God in some form or fashion, is it worth you going to hell for? Is it? But if I was you, I would take heed to the things which we've heard. We titled this message, Don't Mess It Up. Don't mess it up, please. This is not a doom and a gloom. Man. This is, don't you want to enjoy the resurrection of Jesus Christ with a new life? Would you want to enjoy the, the, the joy of your salvation and not live with something that you should have just taken care of but you didn't want to take care of because your flesh got in the way, you got in the way, self, 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 more self, more self, more self, more self. I rebuke self in the name of Jesus. It's not about you, it's about him. Is it worth not only going to hell for it, but is it worth walking away from God? Is it worth you, with all the influence that you have, that you could have been more of a powerhouse for him, and yet you want to walk away from all of that? Take heed to the things which you have heard. If anybody, under the sound of my voice, Please take heed to what is being said. Are you taking heed to what is being said? It's a fearful thing to fall in the hands of a living God. Are we taking heed to the things which you've heard? The title of the message is, Don't Blow It Up. Don't mess it up. Don't mess it up. I'm burdened for you, my friend. May God bless us. I'll be back in just a moment. We hope that you enjoyed the Way to Eternal Life podcast today. If we can be of any help, please let us know by emailing us at contactjohngill at waytoeternallife.com. Once again, that is contactjohngill at 
waytoeternallife.com or visit us on our website at www.waytoeternallife.com or like us on Facebook at Way to Eternal Life 53. Don't forget to subscribe and download the podcast to get continuously episodes. And now, here is John Gill with the final thoughts. My Lord, you heard the word of God today. Don't mess it up. It is the most powerful plead that you ever want to hear. If I was you, my friends, I would humble my heart. Get straight now with God while you still can. What is saved means, Matthew 1, 21, and she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. In other words, Jesus' people are saved from sin. Call upon the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Are you calling upon Jesus right now? And if you're not, and if you are saved, are you where you ought to be in your walk with God? And if I was you, I would humble my heart right now and say, God, help me. Give me grace. Give me the word of thought to deal with this. Take heed to the things which you have heard, lest at any time you should let this slip. God is angry with the wicked every day. You know that. Brother John, why is there nothing happening today? Christ Jesus. Standing between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. Don't mess it up. Backslide, return to him before the everlasting too late. If you if you if you've been are you if you're seeking right now, get down on your face before God and humble your heart and open up your heart to the things which you have heard. Don't mess it up. Don't blow it off. I want to pray real fast for you. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this day. We pray in the name of Jesus, our God, Lord, that maybe some soul have heard this word. We pray in the name of Jesus, our God, Lord, that you would just help that individual out, Lord God. Lord, you know what they stand in need of. We don't know what they need. We don't know what they've heard, what message that they've heard or whatever they've heard. But Lord, we pray, Lord, that you would help them out, Lord, in a very special way. Lord, help them, Lord God. Lord, help them, Lord, to recall what was been said in this message, Lord God, Lord. Lord, just help them, Lord God, Lord, to take heed to what the word of God is saying to them, Lord God. Lord, we pray, Lord, that those that don't know you from the free part of the sins, Lord, we pray, Lord, that you humble their hearts, Lord. Lord, get them to the point where they say, what must I do to be saved? Lord, just help them out, Lord, in a very special way, Lord. Help them, Lord, to take heed to the things which they have heard. Lord, help them, Lord. And Lord, whatever is accomplished, Lord, we pray, Lord, for those that do, that struggled in their walk with you, that, that put things off that they should have never put off. We pray for them, Lord, right now. Lord, help them, Lord God, Lord. While the inspiration is there, in their rooms, in their car, on their computer, on the phone, where, on their tablets, or on their notepad. We pray, Lord, that they would take heed to the things which they have heard. Lest at any time they should let it slip. And whatever is accomplished, Lord, we give you the praise for it all, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. If you've rededicated your life to the Lord or if you've gotten saved, i like to hear from you. Email me at contactjohngill at waytoeternallife.com or uh, go on our Facebook page, 
make a comment there saying I gave my heart and life to him. I have rededicated my life to him. I like to hear from you. And thank you so much for tuning in each time. And once again, there is a way to eternal life. May God richly bless and keep you. As we break this broadcast episode to a close, we would like to leave this scripture from the Word of God with you. Me, O oh God, and know my heart. Try me, and know my thoughts, and see if there be any wicked way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. Psalms 139 verses 23 and 24. Thank you for listening and may God bless and keep you.